right, so we're here with uh, Keita Gray from Sugar Moon Farm, and thanks so much for having us. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, obviously, one of the key elements to making that delicious maple syrup is, of course, the weather. So really, we want freezing and thawing, and ideally, it's a range of at least plus five and minus five. Well, what's usually the window? How many weeks uh, are are things really you know productive around here? It changes every year. The shortest season we had was 10 days. Wow. The longest we had was almost eight weeks. So it's really when the trees wake up and begin to thaw until the buds swell. Once the sap is out of the trees, what's your next step? Well, um, when we have enough sap collected, then we boil it. And this is where all this happens. That's right. Ryan, I think it's gonna be pretty sweet it in here. It smells delicious already. All right, so once the sap, or you get it out of the trees, it comes in here, and what happens? Well, there are stu two storage tanks outside, and the sap enters the evaporator right through that black pipeline. What does it taste like when it comes right out of the tree? Not very sweet. No, like slightly sweet water. It's delicious. We drink lots of it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit like a wine. You have your own uh, different varieties, a you know, bit of a flavor. talk about the terroir of maple syrup, and I think it's true. I think you know, syrup in other regions tastes different. It tastes different throughout the season. And those differences we feel are to be celebrated, right? So once the uh, sap ends up here, yep. what's the process? Then we're looking for temperature to tell us it's the right sugar content, because you want it 66% sugar. That gives you a nice mouth feel. This is kind of interesting. It's really turned into a, a real tourism establishment as well, hasn't it? Yeah, you can say that. We see about 30,000 people a year from all over the world. Yeah, you know, this whole area is a draw to me because there's incredible hiking trails, outdoor activities to do around here. The North Shore, it's gorgeous. It's evolved into a year-round business. The food smells good. I bet it <laughs> yeah, tastes pretty good, too. It does. We also have guest chefs come here throughout the year and do gourmet maple dinners featuring maple syrup because it's more than a pancake topping, it's a great culinary ingredient. So we have wine tasting and live music. So what are we doing here? Everybody is going to take one of these sticks and then I'm going to just put a little of this syrup on top of the snow and it is going to congeal so it's going to get thick enough so that you can put your stick in one end and you can just roll it up. <laughs> mm. We just shoved the whole thing in our mouths. They were like nicely licking. We just jammed it in. <laughs> what do you guys think? Was it good? Yeah. <laughs> I think I may have overdone it. Yeah, me too. I can't get it off the roof. No, I'm stuck to the roof of my mouth as well. We need more practice. <laughs> I'm afraid if I don't move it, it's going to be there forever. <laughs> Should we go check out the restaurant or what? Yeah, well, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of jonesing for some pancakes at this point. Let's go so. check them out. Go with this maple syrup. Yeah. Wow. That looks good, doesn't it? I think you guys brought your appetites. <laughs> wow. Is there a spot to go for a nap after? Uh... <laughs> so good outing. All right, absolutely. Cheers, guys.